Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking NFL logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is the creation done in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start in a blank presentation. I already have this logo in here, so I will select the logo, select format, colors drop down menu and I will select this gray preset just so it's not getting in our way too much and I can clearly see what I'm drawing. I will start with this background shield like shape and I don't need to care about those rounded parts on top because I can just subtract the circle but I need to care about this shape down here and I will actually care about only about the one half because I can just copy and uh, you know duplicate it and flip it so what I want to trace is actually this this part on the left and for this I will use a custom shape tool which is called the freeform tool so I will select shapes freeform tool I will start and over here so I will select uh, click and, and insert a new vertex I will insert a general vertex in here and third in here. Now just to close the shape I will insert an error maybe here, here and here. I don't care about the right side at all because you know later on I will just flip it and duplicate it and merge it. For now I will increase the transparency for the fill a little bit just so I can see the logo better and I will zoom in to the bottom part. I will right click and select edit points and this one should be of course going or facing down like this and this one should be facing up like this to get this kind of curve and you can see I have to adjust both at the same time you know, not at the same time but kind of in, in conjunction to make sure that it kind of copies this shape but I'm pretty happy with this one maybe you know it's not getting all the way to the to the bottom so I can still right click and select edit points and move it a little bit that may ruin those uh, you know handles a little bit and unfortunately it didn't so that's great okay so once I have this shape I can duplicate it by holding the Ctrl and Shift key on my keyboard and dragging it to the right side. Select Format, Rotate, Flip Horizontally or Flip Horizontal and make sure that this tip down here is aligned as much as it, it could be like this. I will zoom out and actually before merging those shapes together I will just copy and paste those, move them to the same spot. I will open the selection pane and just hide one of those copies because I'm pretty sure I would need them later on for this inner shape. So I will just uh, select, select one, two of those, select those, select format, merge shapes union, which will give me just one shape. Now I need to subtract those circles on top. So I guess I will zoom in just a little bit more and insert a new shape being the ellipse. I'll draw it like this, maybe rotate it a little bit. I still need to increase the transparency a little bit so I can see it better. And I can probably right click and select set as default shape so all the newly drawn shapes will have this fill and outline properties. That is, you know, all the newly drawn shapes will be uh, semi transparent. Okay, I will position it properly using my arrow keys on my keyboard and duplicate it, holding the Ctrl and Shift key, moving it to the right side and select rotate, flip horizontal. Move it like this. Select this big bottom, uh, big, you know, shape on the bottom and two circles, select like merge shapes, subtract. And I guess, guess we have the main shield shape, which is great. I can probably rename it to shield. I don't usually rename my, you know, layers, but when I have a lot of them, it's probably a good idea to do that. So I will hide it and show the other two shapes. I will resize them. Maybe I will group them first and resize them to a smaller size to see if I can just resize it and get the right shape. I should be able to do it because it's, you know, it's kind of offset shape, but you can see that this bottom part is a little bit different. So I guess I can zoom in and just try to change the shape a little bit. So I'll right click and select edit points and maybe drag this. Sorry, wasn't able to do this. So one more time, edit points and drag this handle. It's not possible. Okay, so I maybe I just to ungroup those shapes. And now I can do it. Right click, select edit points and drag this point more to the bottom like this. And I guess I need to do it for the right shape as well. So edit points, drag the point down here. Do the same for this one. You know, a lot of tweaking. I don't want to spend like, you know, 20 minutes just by changing this shape. So I will just make sure it kind of looks similar, but obviously I could spend much more time tweaking this shape. I will select both of those shapes, select like format, merge shapes, union, and I will subtract you know, a rectangle so I can get this uh, straight edge on the top. So I'll in in insert a new rectangle, which I will subtract from the main shape, so merge shape subtract. And I'm, I have the another background image as well. So I can maybe call this shield 
inside. I will hide this as well and I will co uh, continue with tracing those individual layers. And that's, you know, just a manual task of drawing the individual vertices using the freeform shape tool. You know, we could probably help ourselves with, you know, like rectangles and stuff, but that will probably not help us too much. So it's probably a good idea to just draw each shape using this freeform shape tool just by clicking all on those vertices and trace those because they are just straight lines. And even the line is like 90 or 180 degrees, I can hold the shift key on my keyboard, which will snap to 45 degrees increments. So that will make things a little bit easier because there are some lines which should be straight like this one. You can see if I hold the shift key, it snaps to 45 degrees increments. So again, insert shapes, freeform shape tool, and I will trace the F letter. And if you, you know, just accidentally click on the wrong spot, you can still adjust those points in the future. If you click on the very wrong spot like, like this, you can press the backspace key on your keyboard, which will delete the last point or multiple points, points if you press the backspace key multiple times, which is kind of handy because sometimes you want to make some adjustments even when you are drawing. You can see I've just kind of clicked on the wrong spot for the bottom part of the F letter. And I will continue with the L letter, so insert shapes, freeform shape tool, and I will trace the L letter as well. So L it is. And as, I, as you can see, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, so I'm not very precise. I, would, I wish I would be more precise. Okay, so let's see, those are the NFL letters. Let's just name those. This is N, F, and the L letter. Okay, I guess I, I can just hide those. So we are still missing this top part that is this uh, football ball and all those uh, you know, stars. The star should be relatively easy or very easy. So let's focus on the ball first. Seems like the main shape could be done with two overlapping circles. So I will select a new shape being the uh, ellipse. And I will draw it like this and try to guess the right size, kind of matching the left side of the actual ball. It may not be based on the circle, but hopefully we can get close to this shape by somehow rotating this. Hmm. I guess I was able to do a much better shape in the past, at least for my previous creation. Okay, I, I kind of like this one. So I will duplicate it one more time to kind of uh, match the right side. And I will select both and select merge shapes intersect, which will give me the main shape. Now I need to subtract few parts and this middle line seems to be based on the ellipse or the circle as well so I'll insert a new circle and make it much bigger like this okay this one is, seems about right duplicate it and move it just a little bit maybe I'll use my arrow keys on the keyboard to set the right offset I will select both of them in the order of first the bottom one then the top one and select merge shapes subtract then I will most likely insert another freeform shape, which I will draw like this, which I will subtract from those subtracted circles. So again, subtract, and now I will subtract this main shape from the form, sorry, the, this circle shape from the main shape. So select both of them and subtract. So this is the base. I need to trace those individual lines. They doesn't seem to be very precise, so I guess I can use a freeform shape as well. So insert shapes freeform shape and since i will be drawing a lot of freeform shapes i can right click and select lock drawing mode which will cause that once i you know finish drawing one shape and close it i can i should be still able to draw it but it doesn't seems to be right mm, that's kind of strange anyway so let's just draw this you know one by one i can most likely reuse some of those shapes but since we only have five of them it shouldn't take long so that's the inner one and one more last one. Again, maybe, you know, if you want to be precise, we can kind of make those a little bit rounded, but I guess we are fine for now. So I'll select main shape and all the small ones and select merge shapes, subtract, and we should have the shape of the football ball. So let's move to those stars. I'll insert a new shape being, of course, the five point star and I'll draw it in the almost same size and I guess I will change the outline to no outline so I can clearly see 
the exact list, exact size of the shape and it seems like we don't have to kind of, you know toggle or change the yellow handle too much because the shape seems to be about similar as it is as for the default star so i will just duplicate it move it to the right side side both move them to bottom then i will select all of them and group them and maybe rename this to stars and i will duplicate this one more time and move it to the right side like this okay and i guess we have all the shapes that we need so i will show all of them nfl shield and shield inside the shield should be on the bottom and inside should be over it and i will select all the shapes holding the shift key on my keyboard move everything to the right side move the original logo to the left side select format reset picture and now just a matter of setting the fill colors for all of them i want the outline to be no outline the background should be blue so i will select the eyedropper tool and sample the blue color the shield inside should be white so again i will sample the white actually the stars and the ball should be white as well so i will sample the white and i'm using this uh, sampler white color i can still set it to white color in here but i will have to adjust the transparency if i sample the color the transparency is automatically set to zero percent and nfl should be red so i will sample the red color and that's it that's how you create the nfl logo in like 10 minutes in microsoft powerpoint Thanks for watching.